Hi, my name is Dustin and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the upload and the image to image feature in Storyboarder AI. We are here in a prepared storyboard and you can see this icon above each image. If you click on it, you have the option of uploading an image in two different ways. One is a simple image upload, which means if you select an image now, it can be any image on your laptop. And when you click on upload, that image will simply be added to your storyboard. So no changes, it's just like you have it on your desktop. Much more exciting is using the image to image feature. Let's take a look at these two gangsters in the bank. If these guys look a little too wild and you have a different shot in mind, you can do the following. Click the upload button again, but this time select image to image instead of simple image upload. Now select an image on your PC. This one may look familiar to some of you and upload it. You now have the option to set an image strength. By default it is set to 30%, but you can also change it to 20% or 40%. And depending on what you choose, the image that is ultimately generated will either be based more on what is in your storyboard, for example the style, shot description and so on, or it will be based more on the style of the image that you are uploading here. Let's leave it at 30% and click upload. And as you can see, the image has changed accordingly. So with the image to image feature, you take an image and use it as a model for the image you have in mind. This is one way you can use image to image, but I'll show you some other ideas. For example, what if we take our couple sitting next to each other and you want to make an over the shoulder shot out of it. You go back to the upload button, go to image to image and select your image that already has a nice over the shoulder shot as a model. And then we say this whole thing should stay very close to the storyboard and its information itself so we choose 20%. We hit upload and see what the AI does with this image. And as you can see, the image has changed significantly and now we have our over the shoulder shot clearly in the image. However, we are still very close to our characters and the overall look of the board and the consistency has been maintained. I'll also briefly show you what it looks like when you select for example 30% instead of 20% for the image strength. Then the image looks like this. This is the variant that is much closer to the original image and again clearly shows the difference in image strength. When it comes to changing something not only in photorealistic or cinematic images but also in a drawn storyboard, we also take a look at how it works. We have a close-up of Mary but we might want to choose a completely different shot for her and have an image in our head that we have on the PC and upload it to use as a model. If we are in a black and white look, it makes sense to upload an image that is also black and white. It doesn't have to be drawn, it can be a photorealistic image like our example, but just make sure it is not too colorful if you want to work in a monochrome storyboard. So let's hit upload and see what happens. As you can see, we are already very close to the original image we uploaded. But as you can see, the whole thing no longer has a nice scribbled look, but somehow looks too realistic. What we can do now to improve it is to click on the Variations button. This will generate a new image that looks similar to this one, but perhaps more in line with our overall look. And as we can see, the image here has now changed and looks much more drawn than it did before. In a nutshell, these are the options you have when working with the image to image feature. So to summarize, you can use the image to image feature to select your image and you have the option to select different strength in the image to image section. Every image is different and needs to be treated a little differently. So feel free to experiment and see what works best for you. At 40% you are very close to the image you are uploading. At 30% you are right in the middle and at 20% you are more in focus in the style of the storyboard. I hope this tutorial helped you and now have fun experimenting.